Oh my own that is fine, y'all. Y'all, I think I'm lying. All right, I'm gonna just start talking before people even come in here. I was gonna just record myself um, doing like a vlog about my um, lovely experience of losing my passport. And I was like, let me just go live and I just upload this live video, y'all. But I wanted to come on and let everybody know I'm fine. I really am, I'm okay, I'm good. I'm very good. I'm outside y'all, so if these bugs start coming and y'all see me getting up swinging, I will switch my location. But anyway, y'all. So, my family plan is um, family trip, vacation to Punta Cana. We've been planning it for, and probably since the beginning of the year. Um, you know, everybody's been quarantined, you know, and I haven't been traveling. If you know me, I travel a lot, but I have not traveled since um, December of 2019. That was our last family trip to Jamaica. Um, I was supposed to go to North Carolina March of 2020 to see my, my last godchild. Um, and that's when everything shut down. So I hadn't been out of um, um, my city, out of my state, out of the country for over a year and a half. So we've been planning this trip, right? So we all excited. The kids were so excited, they didn't even go to sleep. Um, I went to bed. Me and my sister went to bed. Um, and we had to wake up like five in the morning to get ready for uh, our flight or whatever because the car came at like six. The car service came at 6 a.m. Everybody get there. We get through security. Everybody got their passports. We got everything. We at the gate, you know, got some food, get on the plane. I fell asleep on the plane. Um, Snoop, my youngest guy baby, was knocked out because she didn't go to sleep. So we would sleep on the plane plane ride was cool towards the end of the um flight it was a little shaky hi z uh hi zasia and monica um but it was a, a a cool flight so um we were sitting like literally right behind first class um you know the only thing that separated us was actually it is a wall but it's also that little sheer curtain they just closed um so there was a wall in front of me so I didn't have a, a seat in front of me to put my, my backpack. So I had to put it in a uh, the uh, compartment ahead, overhead um, compartment. Again, I was sleepy. Hi, Tanisha. Um, no, I didn't drop it. So I'm getting to that part. So it was in my bag. Um, I had a leather um, backpack, Michael Kors backpack. I put it in a zipper part. Um, I do have a passport case, but... I don't know. I was too busy trying to eat that McGriddle, child. I didn't even put it back in a in a right spot in my purse. So I just put it in my book bag. The book bag's with me. I didn't think nothing of it, right? So we get off. It's time to get off. We're grabbing bags. Everybody did a carry-on uh, because the whole point was not to lose nothing. <laughs> you know, like let everybody do a carry-on. So we have all of our luggage and stuff with us um, on the plane. So everybody had their carry on plus their book bag all right so i'm you know making sure to get the kids got their stuff we like you got your book bag you got your bag you know we're grabbing everything off um because literally we're in the first seats right behind first class so we like we don't want to we don't want to um hold up the line because you know when a when a when a airplane stop everybody get up even the ones in the back like where y'all going why y'all standing up so i don't know so, I don't know why we was rushing. I really don't like to rush. But we were trying to get out of the way. Long story short, I have like this little backpack purse that I carry everywhere. And it was around me. So, I'm assuming in my mind, I might have thought, oh, my book bag was already around. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was still sleepy. I had like 12 dreams when I was on the plane. So, I get off. I have my bag. You know, we get off. They put us on a little bus and take us to the... um to where we, you know, show our passport and everything, get in, um, you know, to get in. And I realized, I'm like, oh my God. Now, mind you, it's not even 15 minutes. And we get we get a chance to go straight to the line. They cut the line for us and let us go up for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Um, and so I was like, oh my God, my black backpack. I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I was, 
<laughs> yeah, full of McGriddle. That's my problem. I've been on a diet for so long, y'all. I wasn't even supposed to have a McGriddle. Anyway. Um, so I'm like, oh my God, I don't have my backpack. I go right to the guy and I'm like, I just got off of this flight number, United, this, as a back um pack, a plat um, or I'm sorry, a leather back pack. It's um it's a Michael Kors, it's just all black, and it literally was um in the in a compartment right above the first seat um in coach. So he typing something on his phone, you know. I guess telling him, he's like, well, they have to clean the plane. So when they clean the plane, they'll just bring it in here. So I'm sitting, I'm waiting, you know, trying to be patient. Because the truth of the matter is, I left my own bag. I can't be mad at nobody because I left my bag. So I wasn't mad at nobody but myself. Um, so I just kind of sat there. I was like, you just have to be patient. It's people coming off all type of planes. Everybody was out there. Spirit, Jet Blue, everybody. Okay. Folk coming in with matching shirts. I mean, just families excited. I'm sitting there just looking child just stressed and depressed and so um i'm asking them I, you know i about 30 minutes in or whatever my sister texted me like you know our car is here to take us to the resort how long is it going to be so the guy that i was talking to I, he was a supervisor he had moved around somewhere else so i asked the young lady so she typing again on her phone and of course you know in dominican republic they speak spanish I took Spanish in college and high school. I don't be knowing what they talking about. I can pick up phrases, but I don't, girl. Like, I took I, I took Spanish in high school almost four years and then two years in college. So, But I don't know what they be talking about. Um, And it's different Spanish. Like, depending on who taught you. I, in college, somebody from Spain taught me. I almost fell. Like, it was God that passed me through that. Um, So, I ain't really know. So, I'm sitting there. And the guy was like, oh, your, your bag is at um, baggage claim. We're going to um, go get it for you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, good. I'm like, you know, to my family, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm about to go in, in this little office. They put me in this little office. I'm like, they're going to bring me my bag and we can go. I am so sorry. Man, I'm sitting there. There's another family in there. Child, I, if for some reason, I could understand what they were saying when you want to be nosy, right? So it was a lady in there, older lady, Spanish-speaking lady as chocolate and beautiful as the uh, older lady. Um, and she had two younger kids with her. It was one was about 14, 15 ish. And she was doing most of the communicating, but I don't know child. She didn't have something and they were trying to send her away, but she was like, I ain't going nowhere. Now she's saying this in Spanish. I ain't going nowhere without my, my grandbabies or whatever. So her grandchild was like, you know, trying to like, you know, Nana chill these folk. You know, they bought in the big people because she was not trying to move. And they were like, you know, your uncle's on the way, right, to the girl. And the girl was like, yeah, my uncle's going to come and pick me up. And they kept saying, well, well, she can go. The little boy, they wasn't trying to let him go. Because I, I think he had his passport or visa, whatever. They were from another country um, on his phone, in which I had a copy of mine on my phone. And I also had a a physical copy Um that I just I do that because when I used to go on mission trip we did that but that was also in my bag, um. But they weren't trying to hear her anyway. They had a whole argument. I was just sitting there, you know, watching them argue. And this old lady, it, security had to basically come and get her up out of the um, up out of the um office. A little in the office was little, so you know the girl all up on sitting on me. You know I'm looking. I'm like, can they just bring me my bag? Anyway, long story short, they walk up in there, y'all with a little black purse, a patent leather, little black purse, a, a purse that looked like my seven-year-old godchild will wear around her, her waist. It took all I had in me not to be pissed because I had waited about an hour and they kept saying, oh, your bag is there. We're going to go get it. They come up and the guy came up with it in his hand, talking about, here we go. I'm like, bro, that is not mine. I said a backpack, a leather one, book bag. I said it had and mind you, it just didn't have my passport, y'all. It had my Air, my MacBook Air in there. Now, I done waited 20 years for the sequel to The Coldest Winter Ever. My book, Sister Soldier book up in there. Like, I waited 20 years for this. I ain't got a chance to read it. I bought it like in March. But I've been doing, I've been working. So, I ain't had time to read it. So, that I was mad about my MacBook Pro. 
my sister soldier book my part two like what is going on with winter i really want to know okay then um she talking about us tomorrow <laughs> no michael kors have an mk on it what tanisha yes and i get some michael kors backpack anyway um it was some other stuff in there but i didn't really care um so he came with his little purse and i i, I had to fix my face because he came in here like, here you go, like, you know, dancing and stuff. I'm like, bro, that's not mine. I said a backpack. You brought in a little purse that was probably, you know, my god baby could have that one. This is something that I would buy her. This is not yours. He kept saying, this is not yours, sir. No. So they were kind of being real nice to me. My sister, y'all got to know Marquita, Rosita, Renice Rogers. My sister come in. She like, y'all was taking so long. They said that it's at the uh, at the um, baggage claim or whatever. What's taking them so long to get it? I said, they bought this little person here. So my sister decides she going to go to baggage claim herself or the terminal herself and look for the bag. That's just what she do. So I'm like, okay. So she left out. She leaves out. This other guy come in. And he's like, ma'am, you don't have a passport. You got to go. I'm like, go where? He's like, go back to the United States. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, we're going to send you back. <laughs> so I'm like, wait a minute, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Just hold on for a second. Like, this, this just switch real fast. Like, y'all was, you know, being so nice. And, you know, I'm being patient with y'all. Y'all can you need some water, all this. Then all of a sudden, when y'all just like, this ain't your bag. Oh, you going back to the United States. I'm like, hold up. And so the guy was like, well, how many in your family? I said, it's like nine of us that travel together. He like, well, go, go to your family and um and say goodbye <laughs> i'm like wait a minute y'all are y'all playing with me they were so serious so i was like god dog i saw I, I i sat there for a second i was like friend keep yourself calm keep yourself together because you know your sisters are out there my niece my niece came back from college y'all to go on a trip um my god babies is out there so i'm like you got to keep calm no matter what you're feeling like y'all my glasses was fogging up i just didn't know what was going on so i'm like sir so can you stop for a minute i said listen i got i got my passport on my phone i got a picture of it on my phone i said and i had to have a passport to get here you know like so i'm not y'all you know you somebody had to go back just wait a minute somebody and they was like, you know, they cleaned the plane. They looked twice. There's no bag on there. Y'all think I made it up? I'm like, how would I have gotten here without a passport? Y'all think I made up the fact that I left a bag on the thing? No, I did not. So I was like, friend, again, stay calm. Because the truth of the matter is, you left the bag. Your sleepy, Nick Griddle, full self left your bag on the plane. You did it. And, and you put... Your passport on the side of the bag, which you have a whole pack. I have a whole pink passport um, cover that I use as a wallet. I was being too lazy. I didn't even put it in there. So I was like, first of all, calm your nerves. Don't be getting mad at them because you left your bag. But I just could not believe that it was less than 15 minutes. And y'all telling me you couldn't find the bag. And I was thinking to myself, I said, well, maybe somebody took it. And I'm like, if somebody took it, they'll return it. It's got my stuff in it. You know, they'll see that a passport is in there. You know, I have my actual um, purse. So, it didn't have my cards and stuff in there. I had that. I said, you know, they, if, if push comes shove, if, if they just took it by mistake, they'll return it. If they own some bull, they may take that um, MacBook. I said, but I'm going to lock it. You know, do that, um, find my whatever, and I'm going to lock it. Um, but... That's it. You know, I was just, you know, trying to like kind of talk to myself. Dude was like, no, you got to go now. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm up. I get up. I'm pulling my bag. Probably, I mean, probably looking so pitiful. So I go over there <laughs> to, to my family. They like, dang, you still ain't found a bag? Um, And I'm like, no, they said, you know, they had it. But when they bought it out, it was a little purse. I said, Quita went, of course, to bag baggage claim to figure it out. But and I looked at them and I said, well, y'all, they said since I don't have it and it's not here, I have to, I have to leave. And that's when Pops was on his phone, like laughing, doing something, 
you know, he was kind of talking to me, but you know, in his mind, he was like, oh, we're going to figure this out. I see her. When I said I had to go back, he looked up like, wait, what? So everybody's looking, Nyla's looking, y'all, if you know Nyla, she, Nyla just be nervous about everything. So she looking, Victoria was like, wait a minute, what? My niece, she totally, like, <laughs> turned on her, um, how would I say? Because I ain't trying to offend people, I just be talking sometimes. Offend. But she put on another voice, let's say that. She did the code switching, and she's like, sir, you know, <laughs> you know. Sir, excuse me, sir. Let us all just calm down for a moment. Now, mind you, this is my niece. This is new. Well, y'all, the ones, my friends from Atlanta, when she was a baby, little girl, I used to call her noodles. But Brianna, Bree. So she's trying to talk. Um, by this time, Apostle K done said, I'm going to Baker's claim. And she ran. <laughs> like, she ran. Like, I'm going right now to check. Dude was like, I don't care what y'all doing. She got to go back. Me, I'm not really knowing that they have already printed tickets in my name okay they had a seat on the plane waiting for me the plane they had the plane waiting for me um and they just wait for me to get on <laughs> i don't know when they decided to do all of this so mind you they took me and they took us in a little bus to get to the little the part where we you know go in to customs and all that man i ain't even put me on a bus to go back i walked <laughs> like i walked with two guys to the plane. One was walking behind me, one was walking in front of me. So I'm like, still, I'm a little off. So I'm like, oh, y'all taking me back to the plane so I can look. They was kind of like, no, just follow me. So I'm like, okay. So I'm just walking. Then all of a sudden, this guy come out and he's, he gave him like two tickets or whatever. I get on the plane. Um, he's like, yeah, going up. I get on the plane. He didn't give me the tickets in my hand. And he went up the stairway. He didn't wait until I got to, until I was about to step on the plane to put the tickets in my hand. So I'm like, wait a minute. I thought y'all were bringing me to look here to look on the plane. I get on, y'all. It's a plane full of people. Them folks was waiting for me. I don't know when they decided they was going to send me back. And they, I, they let me know a little bit late. Um, but they had decided that look good 30 minutes that they was going to send me back. Me not knowing I'm sitting in that office like, oh, okay. So I'm looking, and the first thing I see is, um, I think it's uh, EUR for Newark, New Jersey, that airport. I was like, wait a minute, I ain't even from here. So, and um, and the guy was like, oh, it's two. You're going to go to Newark first, and then you're going to um, uh, transfer to another plane and go to Chicago. So I'm just, I'm just, y'all, literally, I'm literally like, can't believe this is happening. So he's like, it's going to be okay. So I'm walking. He's like, they got a, the, a little uh, compartment open. He was like, I got a space right here for you. Put your bag up there. He took my bag for me, put it up there. Look, I'm looking for the seat. I go, it's one seat left. It's mine. I go sit down. I look at the tickets. Newark, I'm, you know, I'm supposed to get there by 9, 9 p.m. that night. But then my flight to Chicago didn't leave to 6.15 a.m. the next day. So I'm like, What? So I, I sat there for a minute in it, and I was like, Frenda, you got to relax. You're on this plane. My family at this point is in Dominican Republic. I left them, and they in Punta Cana. I walked off with the little Dominican Republican people to get back on the plane. Okay, my sister and Apostle K, they were at the, the um, baggage claim looking for my bag, so I didn't really get a chance to say bye to them. I literally was talking to them for just a few minutes, not even a whole 60 seconds when they was like, she got to go. Everybody was confused. So I'm sitting on a plane and I'm like, shocked. I'm like, I am going back. Like I flew out to Dominican Republic at 9 a.m. Y'all, I was back in the United States that same day by 9 p.m. Y'all, <laughs> I was like, I can't believe this. So I'm kind of sitting there. I'm um, emotional you know, and, and it's not even about necessarily the trip itself, because I've been to Punta Cana like three times. Well, two times, twice. But I went to um, Santo Domingo once. So I've been to the Dominican Republic three times. Um, so it wasn't about the trip. I was excited for the family trip. I hadn't been. Um, but I, I, I don't know, y'all. I was just in shock. So um, another thing was, it wasn't... I wasn't worried about even going to Newark. And I know you would have came and got me, Mia. 
I just didn't even know what happened to even to explain. Cause think about it, Barbara, Bianca, my sisters, my sister chicks live in New York. I'm in New York all the time. Newark airport is like, literally you cross the street and you're in New York. So that wasn't an issue. Um, it was more so, I just was so shocked. Like they sent me back immediately. Um, and so I was just like, I didn't even, I didn't even contact them, Barbara and Bianca, because my flight was leaving at 6 15 the next day it was going to be boarding at 5 30 a.m so i just said to myself i'm just going to stay up and stay in the airport i'm not going um my family's like go to a hotel here's money or whatever um i was like no i'm not i'm not because what's going on in my life right now i don't know what's going on i get to there i get to the dog on hotel and something could happen or i could oversleep i don't know i just wasn't gonna leave the airport okay y'all so um I get, I get there. I have to explain to four or five people that I'm, you got to go back in customs. Think about when you take a trip and you come back, you got to have your passport. You got to fill out the um, little blue form if you're not like um, TSA or whatever, um, like check that um, clear thing. So I have the paper and I have my my passport number because duh, I had just had my passport that morning. So I fill out the paper. I explain this about three or four people. I get up to the officer. And he was just looking at me. I explained. He was like, wait a minute. Like, you flew out today? I said, yes, sir. And he's like, and it was in your book bag on the plane? And he was like, what the heck happened? I said, I left it. And he was like, like, within 15 minutes, it was gone. I said, yes, maybe somebody grabbed it. He was like, oh, man. So he sent me to another office. The officers in there were really nice to me. It was a whole lot of people in there. So in my mind, I was like, oh, my God, I'm finna have to sit here again. But I told myself, Brenda, if you got to sit here, just sit here. Like, at this point, don't work yourself up. Sit here. All the while, y'all, I'm texting my family because I, I, wanted, I wanted to let them know, I want y'all to enjoy y'all trip. Don't worry about me. Because I travel anyway. And if push come to shove, I could have called my sisters and said, come get me. Um, but I was leaving so early the next day, I didn't even do that. So I, I was in a little office, not for long. They felt so bad because they was like, that don't seem right that they sent you back that quick. It just doesn't seem right. He said that people lose passports all the time. A lot of times while they're already there or they have to resort or something. But the plane, he, she was like, they were like, you yeah, just get off the plane. I said, literally. Um, he's like, you know, maybe if somebody grabbed it. You know, maybe I would think that they would just kind of wait just to see if somebody returns it. I said, no. I said, they had a seat for me. They had my tickets printed. Um, I didn't really know. I think that was the last flight going out to the United States. So that's why they were so um, forceful. And they were a bit aggressive about getting me on the plane. I mean, like I, like, I was really trying to sneak into the country. Like, what? Like, I was really trying to sneak up in, into y'all country and stay. Now, I, I'm going to say this. I was, I, I, the first time I was in Dominican Republic, I was in Santo Domingo. I went for a, um, a, um, I can't even think what I used to go to all the time. Missions. Yeah. Missions trip, baby. Ain't nobody trying to sneak into the Dominican Republic and, and stay there. Okay. Like I was culture shocked when I stayed for the missions trip. It was, we was in the actual city, bro. It was called water. You know, and it's no, listen, if you from Dominican Republic, I'm not disrespecting your country, anything like that. All I'm saying is, why was somebody trying to sneak up in the country? I don't know. I, not me, you know? So anyway, um, yeah, going to the resort, but you got to pay for the stuff. So I don't know. I think the way they was, I just didn't like how aggressive and forceful, like, like even, the, well, I'm calling them officers, the guys that took me to the plane. One was in front of me, one was behind me, and they just kind of like, every time I said something, they was trying to hush me, like, am I under arrest in Punta Cana and don't know? Like, what is going on? I just lost my doggone bag that was on the plane with me. So, anyway, I get to, like I said, to, to Jersey, and those officers, like, they pulled me to the side, and they was like, yo, we really pray. He used the word pray you get your bag and stuff back because this don't even make sense like surely they would have just wait you know um sent you on to that resort because i was like i had a picture in my phone he's like listen i get it it's rules or whatever he's like people we break rules all the time like i know you're not really supposed to but you had the dog on passport in your phone you know 
um, you had gotten there, you had reservations to this resort, you had your family with you, you know, to keep you there until possibly somebody returned it or something. We've had situations like that happen. He said, and then it depends on who you are. He said, but we ain't never had nobody get sent back this, this fast. Like, I, I, he felt bad because he kind of laughed a little bit. But I was like, it's okay, because this is, this, I might have to laugh about it. I'm not laughing right now at this moment, because it's still the same day, but I'm going to laugh, because I, you know, I'm a laugher. So he was like, no, I'm not laughing at your situation. He said, but they weren't playing. They sent you right back. So they, you know, said, go ahead, uh, gave me my little blue, blue form. I had to give it to the officer out. I go back up, and I got to go back through security. <laughs> I didn't realize this. Um, you know, for them to check my bag and stuff. So I'm like, God, no, this is the 15th time I got to tell the story. So I go to this, the guy, um, in, in Newark airport, um, I've been, the first time I was, I, I, I've been in the airport. I was like, that I went through the airport. I was like 19. It's a total different airport now. I dreaded it because that, it just wasn't the best airport. Um, and then the last time I actually went there through there was like in 2014, when me and my sister chicks went to um, a play, we were going to support Nicole Ari Parker, and she was doing a play to Cleopatra and Anthony and um, at Princeton University. So we flew, and it was drama in because the airport was they was working on it. It was just a lot. So in my mind, I was like, friend to breathe." You know, I could feel myself getting a little anxious because that's what I thought about the drama we had in 2014. But when I got there, it was totally it was different. Um, the airport shuts down though about 10 o'clock. If I knew this, I would have done something a little different, but anyway. So I get to them. The one girl, she's sitting there on the phone. I'm like, Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I said like eight times. She looked up. I'm like, Where do I go in through for security check? Oh, I'll go all the way down there at the end. Nobody was at the um, Asia, yeah, because remember, you kept telling us to get on the train, and we kept on saying, What train? Anyway, that's that's when we went to Asia. So I was thinking about that. It was that was a dramatic trip for us. It was a lot that happened, you know. I said, I don't know. Anyway, um, I think I was triggered a little bit. Um, so I go all the way down to the end. Nobody's there to look at your ID and stuff. It's just the people that you know send you through the little machine. So they like, come on in, ma'am, show us your ID and all this other stuff, right? Mind you pause in my story because i could talk forever y'all i've literally been using my passport as my id for the last year um y'all it's a long story my my life